It is Sunday and we are headed to Idaho Falls to go to a family's baby blessing. So we're excited. We get to see family we haven't seen in a long time. Um, we've got family that lives in Colorado that's going to be there. So it's going to be fun. After the baby blessing we're going to go eat with yep. them at their house? Yep. Alright. At least the weather's nice and Hot. it should be a quick trip. Luckily we have air conditioning. I'll make sure to cut that out. Alright, so yeah, you can tell everything's upside down right now. I know. It was never intended to be this way. In fact, what happened was I got in the car to go home from Idle Falls and I'd forgot to change the settings on the camera, so all the dash cam footage is upside down. And I was going to toss it all in the garbage because it's no good. But then, as I was kind of reviewing it quickly, I started to realize just how basically secondary cool this actually was for me. I'm not used to seeing things upside down. I don't think any of us are. But watching this footage, seeing the signs upside down, going under the underpass, looking at the power lines, or even the way the flag hangs there in the blue sky, it all just kind of mashes up really kind of neat. And so I thought I'd include it. Let me know what you guys think. We're on our way down to Chubbuck, to the Palace Playhouse that we're calling it now. Yeah. She's going to be doing an acting camp for the next two weeks. Um, I've done it for... This will be my third year now. Um, my first year, I was, it was the, we did Robin and the Sherwood Hoodies. I was Big John, and I had a little puppet. His name was Little John. And then we did Ali Baba and the Bongo Bandits, and then I was one of the guards. And so I'm really excited to be doing it this year. We don't really know what it's called, it's something to do with Shakespeare. Shakespeare walking, Shakespeare talking. Yeah, I know. We'll find out. But they'll run for the next two weeks. And in the process, I guess they're going to be looking for people that are interested in doing a play in August as well. Hopefully that's something that, one, you have an interest in, and two, well, I guess they'll have an interest in you. Hey, everybody. I got to go in there with you. Remember, I got to sign you in. Yeah. I will say, this is my daughter, Lorena Anderson. And she is here to take your part as lead actress in your play without costumes. In your play without costumes. She will be Shakespeare, even though he's a boy, <laughs> while she walks. Oh, the doors aren't even open yet. Let's just screech on the parking lot. Let's keep doing circles. Do it. <laughs> so we just picked Lorena up from her first day of theater camp. How'd it go? It went awesome. I was, I'm really sweaty though because we do dancing at the last part of the day, but it was really fun. We, so I get there, you know, we all introduce everybody to each other. I, I didn't have a lot of friends out there, there though. Um, a couple people you knew though, right? Yeah. Then, you know, we just went over the rules and stuff and we did a, you know, a couple of like swoosh bong. I don't like it that much because it's just really, really weird. We did a couple, you know, like acting um, exercises, you know. Um, we went outside to eat lunch, and then I'm definitely gonna bring a blanket or an umbrella because it's so hot outside. You couldn't find any shade? No. So you see, the only shade is just like a little bit of um, tree leaves, and if you want shade, you're gonna have to sit in the dirt. Mm. Um, so, what's the play actually called? Shakespeare Rocks. Shakespeare Rocks. Okay, now that I know we can look that up. It's about rock and you can and roll. see what it looks like. It's about rock and roll. Yeah. So that car just forced their way in there. Gosh. Through two lanes. Oh, they're lucky nobody smashed them. Okay. Um, <coughs> um, auditions are tomorrow. And we're not singing, we're just doing monologues. And I don't know what my monologue's called, but it's really long. Is that it right there? Yeah. Okay. Not here yet? Uh, no, not right now. I was confused by why everybody was dancing but the two girls on the edge of the stage. Olivia and the other girl. Because, um, I guess they thought that that's what the, it would fit. Because it's called freeze, it's called freeze dance. And so that they get songs you're supposed to improv what kind of dance would be. And so they thought that they would sit on there and do that as improv for the dance. I kind of 
thought it meant that they already been given two parts and, and they were the lead and they didn't have to do anything. <laughs> that wouldn't make any sense. No, it wouldn't, but what I thought was going on. We're going to stop and get the car washed. Okay. Can't take the windshield and the whole car. The journey needs it. It's got all sorts of pollen from all the trees that have done their deal. Let's see like how long it is. I'm taking application to be my official bully. Alright. You're gonna hire a bully, are you? Yep. Make sure it's the right person to pick on me day after day. So is it all the same directors from last year? Um new music teacher, same dance teacher, so I'm glad. And then the same director and a new helper. Two new helpers and one well three new helpers here. Get really close up here in the camera. Hey, I'm washing my car. Uh oh, Daddy. I can't see, baby. What's happening? I don't know. I'm scared. What's Dad. happening? What? We're closing in on us. Oh my gosh. This is not what I paid for. This wasn't the plan. I don't even know where we're going. I don't even control the car anymore. It's moving on its own. All I know is if I don't get the car clean before we get out the other side, they're going to kill me. Right? No, it's so hard! Ah! It's the alien. I'm glad you still laugh at Silly Daddy. Yep. Hey! We're being attacked by a heavy rainstorm now. Oh, it's purple! It's purple. 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 Favorite color, purple. Eat your bear. <laughs> Road. I can't look, yeah, I'm driving. I wasn't showing you it. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. You were showing me. I was showing it. Who's going to look at that video later? Me. So who are you showing? Me. Kitty Wumpus. Hey, buddy, Let's show the world what happens when no. Lorena rides in the front seat with no. me. No, Dad, Dad, Dad. For starters, I end up with a twitch, something like Dad, this. Dad, stop. stop. And then stop. Stop. the twitch is never by itself. Stop. It's always comes in Dad, groups Dad, like this. <laughs> ah, ah. See so what you did? Uh, yeah, Dad, I had the twitch. Can you take your arms up? Can you take your, your hand off my leg? I can. I won't because I got this problem. Will you? Will you? Will you? Will you? Yeah, stop. Oh, 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 Dad. You're driving. I am driving. So stop it. You don't get all kitty wumpus with me. I will get all kitty wumpus with you. I'm playing. You just made Nala die. What's wrong with you? Oh, the doctor says a lot of things. A hundred coins. Mm. Pickle, Dad. Pickle, 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 Dad. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Dad. I tell you, we can stop for a donut, but it's not Friday. It is June seventh, and today marks our twenty-eighth anniversary of being together. Right? 28 years. We got together back on June 7th, 1988. And we're together for four years before we got married. So we always celebrate this day because we've been together that long. So we're going to go to dinner. We're going to drop off these two yahoos at the skating rink and leave them there. Even if they're not open because as Sheila just said, what? You ain't going on a date with me. <laughs> we don't get too many dates. Lorraine is needy. <laughs> We are having our weekly picnic at Capel Park, and we're having Little Caesars pizza. We're over in Chubbuck, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Lorena in the shadows. We're actually here because we're going to watch Lorena's friend play softball okay. at one of these fields at some point. <laughs> All right, pizza good? We're at Capel Park. We just had our picnic for picnic for the week, and we're over here watching Ashlyn do her softball game. She's the catcher right now. You're the supporter. Today, um, I went to acting camp over at the party playhouse, and I did auditions yesterday, so I was able to get who I was today, and I, it's who I wanted to be. Was the director? I have 14 lines, not a lot, but still satisfying. Um, sadly, I'm only in one scene, but it'll all work out. It's not a very exciting play, but I'm still excited to be a part of it and do it. Awesome. Tomorrow we got the same kind of thing going on? Yep. 
right? Yep. So Ashton's playing catcher. All right, it's top of the second inning. And right now they're losing one to zero. Nope, one to zero. And the pitcher's really excited. Nobody else is. She just said we're excited. <laughs> The other team looks menacing. Whoa. Oh, that was high. What a beautiful evening. It's June. The sun is going down. We can actually hear the birds chirp every so often. As long as the guy next to us isn't shooting. I'm out at the gun range here at Oregon Trail. I'll come out to get a few rounds of practice in before tomorrow. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock I have a 8 hour AR-15 class from a guy named John McPhee, otherwise known as the Sheriff of Baghdad. He's coming to Pocatello to put on a three day class. And so, given the chance to have the training from him, his video diagnostic class I believe it was called, took advantage of it. So, 7 in the morning tomorrow until 3 o'clock I think it is. I'll be out here getting some round time in. Hopefully learn a thing or two. Never actually had training on the AR-15. Taking pistol classes. I've had my concealed weapons for over, well, almost two years. And I've been taking classes on that gun for years. But never on the AR-15, so I'm looking forward to this. Really hoping to pick up some things that improve not only my speed, but my manipulation of the weapon. Um, got a few targets out there. We're not doing anything special. I don't plan to go out there and try to hit bullseyes. My goal tonight is, well, to get this mag loaded. Something hung up. Hmm. My goal is to go out there and just simply work through some manipulation, some reloads, some malfunctions, and some target presentation. We'll do that. Enjoy the last moments of the daylight. And get ourselves out of here. So, get the ears in, my nice tactical clothing, that's good to be out here, right? It is summer. For those interested, I am shooting the Bear Creek Arsenal 18 inch stainless steel barrel. I got some Fab Defense furniture back here. Uh, I love these grips. Ah, oh, these hoe grips, they just feel nice in my hand. Better than the hard plastic, they just... Perfect. All right. So we're going to go out there, run a few, see what we get. It's been a while since I shot. One of the reasons I'm out here practicing now so I don't come out here tomorrow and make a mistake. Just finer manipulation of the weapon. That's it. Look at that beautiful sunset. Looking west towards the sawtooth. Just a little bit of orange left in the sky. Pretty. Nice way to end the evening. It's Donut Friday again. A little late in the afternoon, actually evening, it's seven o'clock. And we're barely getting our donuts. That's because I've been busy out at the gun range all day, taking a class. Lorraine had camp. So we're just now showing up to get our donuts. And thankfully, there's some still left. Let's go find out what we got for choices. <laughs> well, we got more than a couple. And all chocolate in the back, right? Alright, so what are you going to end up getting? There's an old-fashioned maple. No, I'm going to get the cinnamon thing. Alright, get the bag. Have you ever had one of those before? Uh-huh, they're really good. Oh, okay, good. I was worried you haven't had one before. I've had one before. Alright. I can get it. All the way in the back? Yep. Here, let me help you. That's the benefit of Donut Friday. You get what you want, right? Yeah, I just squeezed a little bit of daylight out of it. Did you? Look at how big it is. It is big. You can eat the whole thing by yourself? Yep, that's what I did last time. I did, <laughs> I did it in a three minutes flat. Okay, would you grab Sheila a glazed? I can get this in here. Glazed? Yeah. 
And would you grab me the two blueberries? Two of them? Yeah, cause they're not, they're smaller than the normal donut. I'm gonna be greedy. I haven't had real food all day. I've had some chips. <laughs> no, not chips. chips. I'm sorry, it was peanuts. I had honey roasted peanuts and water. It's all the time I had time for out there at the range. Mom offered to bring me lunch, but I had the peanuts and I thought I can get away with that. Don't want to make her drive all the way out there. All right, we got our donuts? Yeah. <laughs> What's that gross thing you're drinking? A smoothie. What is it? I don't know. Strawberry banana smoothie. Ugh. For McDonald's? Is any good? Mm -hmm. oh. It could be better with what? Uh, oh my you god. You having a good day? Yep. Got your sippy cup? Yep. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad to see you came prepared. No drooling today, no spilling. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, you did it! Colby! <laughs> that was sweet. Yeah. Do you want to say anything else? Huh? Do you want to say anything else? Nope. What's awesome? Huh? What's awesome? What do you mean what's awesome? Me? Yeah. And that's how we spent our week. Hope you had a good week too. Thanks for spending the summer with us. See you next time.